Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my master bedroom. We're actually on the floor <laughs> because we are going, going to do a master bedroom refresh. Um, I just want to lighten and brighten things up. I have a lot of white in my room as of as always, my bedding is white, um, but I just picked a few items from around my house. I added in very few new items. Most of the stuff I sourced from, like I said, around my house and we are going to refresh and just make my master bedroom look a little bit more cozier and just a little bit more cute. So as you guys know, this is like my favorite color in life. Um, and I'm just going to add more pops of that into my master bedroom. My drapes are that color. They've always been that color. Um, but now I'm just going to add more of that color in other areas in our bedroom. So I did pick up this new bed skirt. We currently have a bed skirt on our bed, but it is so annoying. It's one of like those old school ones that go underneath the mattress um, the box spring and it just always moves up. So this one has elastic and um, the boys are going to help me put this on my husband and my son because I have to lift up our whole Cali King bed and I cannot do that by myself. But I picked this up off of Amazon and it was like 17 bucks. So this will go around the bottom of our bed and it's white like the other bedding. I also am going to, I've had this sign forever and ever, but I'm going to use this. I got this from the Target dollar spot a few years ago, like in, it was only three bucks. Like I said, a lot of this stuff, we're going to just source things that I currently have around my house. I'm going to incorporate this candle. It has my name on it. I actually received this as a gift from um, one of my girlfriends at work, but um, it's one of those Ray Dunn candles and it has dream on it. So I'm going to try to use that. I have this book I'm gonna throw in for a little pop of color. It's actually the sister's first book. I just took off the outside cover um, and it's a very good read, but I wanna include that as well. And then this big old um, blanket. We actually had it downstairs in the living room and we weren't really using it. So I brought it up here cause it's perfect for our master bedroom. Um, it's going to add a little pop of color on the edge of our bed to, since our bedding is all white. And then I picked up this little tissue box and, um, the only thing it, it was only $4.99 from Amazon. So this is new and the skirt is new, but these three items are items and the big comforter are items that we already had at our home. Um, I thought it wasn't, it's plastic, so that's the only thing I kind of don't like, but I do like it because it hides, you can have whatever color tissue box underneath there and it hides it, so perfect. And then we have two picture frames. One, I already put the picture in it. This one is kind of like a cream color. We already have that already. And then this one is white and I'm going to stick another picture in there of me and my husband. That's my husband there. And then... This, in this tray that I've had forever and ever, I usually use it to decorate for birthdays and stuff like that. It was in the garage, so I decided to bring it up here. But we have this social butterfly um, little picture book, which is filled with tons of cute pictures. But um, my sister-in-law got that for me. It's Kate Spade, so I'm not sure where she picked it up from. This book right here is one of me and my husband's favorite books. It is the Dave Ramsey, the total money makeover. I just took off the cover of that. So I thought that was great to have in our bedroom. And we've had that before. Um, and then this is actually a new item. This is just one of those $5 plants. It's from the studio project 62. And it is from target, but everything else in that bucket is just stuff that I found around the house. I have some florals that I've had for a long time. They're hydrangeas, my favorite, some faux florals. And those I already had in my bedroom. And then we picked up this little um, lamp. And that is also from Target. And that's new. That was about $55 or $52, something like that um, from Target. So they currently have that still. 
Annette's from the Threshold brand. And then the little pillows that are gonna go in the front of our bed, those we already had. I actually took them off the couch downstairs in the living room because I picked up new pillows for the couch downstairs. Um, so these are gonna go in our bedroom now. And those were from Home Goods, same as this throw. Those we've had for over two years. And this throw we've had probably about six months. But yeah, super excited to get, to spruce up my bedroom a little bit. Like I said, I do need to add a picture to um, this frame. I got pictures in from Shutterfly. I already replaced this one. This is, so, oh. It's like dirty. <laughs> this picture frame was already in our bedroom. I just changed out the picture of it. So I already place, replaced that one. And that's my husband. We were by a pool. That's like his only <laughs> tattoo that he has. It's for San Diego. But I always said it was for my maiden name, which had those same in initials. But okay. So let's get started decorating. So guys, before we get into starting to clean, I wanna show you that we did put the bed skirt on and it touches the ground. This one was so easy. It's not one of those ones that go underneath the bed. That's our box spring there and it just kind of snaps on and then the back section doesn't have um, any like skirt part it's just elastic but this was super easy i could have even done it myself and the boys got that on so you know let's jump in so guys i am going to use this mrs myers in the mint scent i love the mint scent not only is the bottle my favorite color but the scent is so good first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dust everything because everything was pretty dusty so this curtain rod, I needed to dust that off. It had so much dust on it, it's black. Um, I also needed to dust down the blinds just really quickly. Um, they weren't too bad because I had done this a while ago, but the window seal, and I'll show you guys, was really gross and yucky. I'm also gonna dust off the dresser because that's black as well, and I will also dust off the side tables. We were all done with that and I don't know what happened, but I lost the footage of me making the bed, but I made the bed. Um, I just used our same quilt and um, we already had this bedding. The only thing that is different for upstairs here is those pillows and they were downstairs in my living room. And then this new Target lamp. Um, of course, mom life, I couldn't find any scissors in a pinch, so I am using um, Brooklyn scissors. So her little child safety scissors. So I'm gonna get all of that cut off and um, get this lamp plugged in. And I actually really love it. And I know it's weird to just have it on one side, but I kind of like it that way. I don't really need a lamp on my side of the bed, so it's just gonna be on my husband's side. And then I'm fiddling around with the cord and I figured out how to put it in the back. Later on, after I, actually after I was done filming this video, I noticed that the tags were sticking out and I wind up cutting those off. But this whole video, I did not notice. And yes, eventually I cut the tags off. Um, I had some pictures printed from Shutterfly. They were super duper affordable. And this um, frame I got from Target, it was only $3.99. I bought a bunch of their $3.99 frames because I'm gonna spread them throughout my house. But um, I am going to cut the picture to size to fit in this frame. It's a four by four picture, but this frame is circle, so the picture doesn't quite fit. This is our, one of our wedding pictures. In fact, we got married at my family's lake house in Maine and it was such a beautiful wedding. Um, it was a really small wedding. We only had about 50 people, but it was like what my dreams were made of. So yes, Maine, we got married um, at our family's lake house and it was absolutely beautiful. 
measure this side. I'm gonna make my way over to the other side and put out the items there. I'm gonna put out my flowers, that book that I said, that sister's first book that is actually written by um, the Bush Girls, the twins. Um, it is a really good read. So I'm gonna put out that and then my a picture of my husband. And I wind up turning this picture around as well because that was really bothering me with it like that. But I did that after I was done filming. And then I put this blanket out. It was giving me a tough, tough time, but I got it folded and I got it put out and it is so cozy and I just love the pop of um, just a subtle color and warmth that it adds to my bedroom. I absolutely love how everything turned out. Lastly, I am going to dust off these pictures and then vacuum the floor and then I will show you guys the finished product. I had recently changed out these pictures of my kids um, a couple weeks ago um, just to update them. So now let's, we're gonna put this in. Oh my God, this summer scent from Target smells so good. And just freshen up our room a little bit and I am almost done. I am going to that rug, it's a new rug, so it needs to flatten out a bit. That is near my um, sink in the bathroom. So that rug we got a few weeks ago, but I just need to flatten it out. If you guys know any way to help to keep rug mounted on carpet, please let me know and leave it down in the comments below. I would love to get your tips and tricks to do that, but. Um, yes, just gonna vacuum up a bit and then we are almost done and I will show you guys the finished product and I'm absolutely obsessed with our bedroom thus far. But we're probably gonna get a rug to go underneath our bed and then the whole other side is where we keep our computer and I just need to find something to go above that and I will show you guys that area um, in a future video. Okay guys, we are all done. So this is our finished product. I'll give you guys an up close of everything. So that new lamp. I did put a coaster right there because my husband brings, um, it's like a slate coaster. He brings water to bed every night and then we have that sign there. And then I'll give you up close of our bedding. Our bedding we've had for a really long time. It is actually from Amazon and it came with the pillowcases. The larger sham, the larger pillowcases and pillows in the back, those are all from Amazon as well. The bedding was very affordable. And then I'll give you, a, we'll go back, show you that area. And then the signs above our bed are from Walmart. And then there is my side. Um, our bedroom furniture is from Ikea, but this will probably be the last house that this furniture winds up in our bed. Our next house, it will end up in the guest room. But, and then these are, but I don't mind it. Um, my husband has had to reinforce it different ways, especially this bad boy right here. He's had to like redo all of the drawers, but it's held up for a pretty long time. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.